There we have the first look of some shocks on the truck. Um, not permanent or anything. Just got a lower tab on the beam. Um, just wanted to get them kind of put in there and uh, check some clearances, see what it's gonna look like. Threw a tire on there. Um, the upper mounts are just kind of floating in space, so there's uh, nothing holding those there. And the lower's just got a tab that kind of just eyeballed it. And the main thing was just kind of, yeah, looking for, I wanted to see tire clearance, what we had for room. Um, for mounting over this way i wanted to see for the swinger here and everything's looking really good so i just kind of pulled the shock up there's no nitrogen in them they're just kind of sitting there um stiff and uh just kind of eyeballed kind of what it's gonna look like um for angle and stuff like that so uh yeah i don't know getting the shocks on there being able to visualize this thing see what it's gonna look like we still got to get the bumps, um, you know, lots of other stuff. And, you know, these are, these are going to get tweaked around a little bit. But really wanted to get those on there um, for now just to have a tab um, so I can start cycling this thing and moving this thing. Um, I talked in the last video kind of about a bunch of stuff that we were going to be doing, and that's kind of what this video is now. Shocks, bumps, probably limit straps, um, finishing up the steering, getting a gearbox on there. Um, and before I really do any of that... What I'm going to get started on first is coming in here and trimming up um, this rear. So that way when I uh, cycle this tire up in here, we're looking for more bump travel. So right now the limiting factor on bump travel is um, when this wheel's turned. Not when it's straight, but yeah, when it's turned, we still need the travel. And we're hitting right here on this stuff. So I'm going to look at uh, starting with cutting these pinch welds out. And then on the front, we're even hitting right here where this this fiberglass is currently mounted with a tube we're, we're going to cut that out and then i'm going to end up shaving this fiberglass and it's kind of all cracked and busted right here anyways so it's going to allow us to kind of cut that crack out and then i'll have to make a uh i'm going to make a new structure once i get a cage in here um to support these fenders so this is going to eventually all go i got the electrical um just moved over on top of the motor for right now i still gotta uh, reposition the ecm um, all that stuff was bolted right here, but for now, I just got, there's the fuse block. For right now, I just got it pulled over so I can get this stuff trimmed out of here and yeah, work on shocks, work on the bumps, work on the trimming. Um, I'm going to end up pulling these back off, getting them out of here and yeah, we're going to get cutting some stuff and uh, yeah, one more look at those shocks on there because it looks pretty sick, but now we got to do the work to uh, make sure they have a home and can live there, so. Time to get all the cutting tools out.
right, I've been working on welding some stuff up on uh, this here stuff. I ended up welding this beam pivot and uh, this swinger just on this side, um, finish welds. I got some first passes on some other stuff on the other sides. Um, the main reason I did that is because I needed to, I had to pull this bump stop back off and to be able to put this on and weld it on, um, this stuff needed to be finished um, because I'm gonna start plating in here and I wasn't gonna be able to weld. Um, this beam pivot back in there is all welded up. So I got that stuff done to where um, I don't necessarily, I don't need to worry about um, all this other stuff is gonna get fully welded once I uh, pull everything all back out of here. Once I get um, shock tabs and the steering and everything fully um, done, and I guess cycling and everything with where it needs to be, then I'm gonna rip everything apart and I'll fit fully weld um, everything on the frame, everything on the beams, paint, do all that type of stuff. Um, so for now, uh, the next thing I'm kind of getting to and working on is shocks. And I've already done and figured out uh, the lower um, shock tabs. So now I need to start working on getting the uppers in place. So I've gotten the bumps set up. So now I am starting to lay out the engine cage. So I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Um, different for me. I've, you know, there's a lot of people that have done stuff like this before, so it's not, not the first time this has ever been done. But I'm looking at um, what we got here is this is just some like 50 thou um, aluminum sheet that I have, and I've got two different little templates I've cut out and I've been messing around, and uh, those are going to be the main um, pieces to the engine cage. So I am working out. Um, where I want this engine cage to land. Uh, these are just some things I drew up and That's kind of what I'm going to be starting working on next. So um, If you can see here, we got some tube There's gonna be a bar that's running up across the back here And then yeah, I'm thinking two pieces of uh, parallel plate going down and then yeah, these are gonna get tubed across with um, All welded up and then there'll be top and bottom plates um, so yeah, that's what I think I'm gonna do for this. The reason, there's a couple reasons I wanna do this. Um, one, the look of it, obviously it's, I think it's gonna end up looking really nice. Uh, the strength of it, this is all gonna be 316th, so it's gonna be crazy strong. Um, the other thing is now that we got the mill running, um, I made another video about my, getting my CNC mill going. Uh, we got a big, nice opportunity to make a really cool something billet right up in here. Um, and I getting it bolted into this area right here. Um, our shock mounts are gonna be right in this area here. Um, and then having tube right here, it's gonna make a nice area for tube to come and around for our shock hoop. And then also go across for tying across to the other side. So we will uh, see if it turns out uh, in real life how I have it imagined in my head. And uh, yeah, that's kind of what I'm working on now. So I cut cut these out uh, actually last night, just kind of getting back at it now and trying to decide, um, yeah, where where it needs to land, um, getting some stuff figured out before I cut these things out of steel and start building them. Um, it's a lot easier and cheaper to just burn a couple out of some uh, aluminum sheet and throw them in there and just figured before I actually started cutting them out, show you maybe a little bit part of this process of uh you know a lot of it's still a lot of trial and error when you're making custom stuff like this um i definitely expect you know the first one two three things that i make are not generally going to be the thing um that goes on the truck it takes takes building things a couple times and then as you're going through it and building it and landing it um you know i made these just bases off pulling some dimensions with the tape measure and then I drew some stuff on CAD. I cut the first one based on that one. I changed some stuff. Um, and now even based on this, I'm actually probably gonna cut a third one out um, based on, I think I want something, a combination of in between these two. I want, I want the landing a little bit further up here, but I'm also need to make sure I keep enough room for um, a fan shroud and electric fans to be going onto this radiator up in here and to be able to have um, access and serviceability and all that type of good stuff. So, um, yeah, I think we'll uh, hop back on the computer, make those changes, cut another one, and then uh, we'll start cutting them out of some real plate and 
then we'll have a whole bunch of welding to do.
finished uh, welding up this thing. Getting ready to do, uh, put it back in the truck and figured I'd uh, probably stop this video here. Got quite a bit of uh, stuff done in here. Kind of just, uh, yeah, a lot going on. Engine cage, shock mounts, welding some stuff, steering. And uh, yeah, building uh, the engine cage. I decided to weld all this stuff up as far as I did. This is all fully welded because I can, uh, I gotta pull the hood and then this will drop right down in there. And then uh, all the rest of the tubes and stuff will get welded in here. But I wanted to weld as much of that thing as I could out of the truck. It's just easier to weld on the bench versus in the truck. And now that I got all that done, ready to do go and drop in there. Um, yeah, that'll be what we're working on next. So thanks for watching my stuff. Check back in for part two. We'll have shocks and everything uh, cycling on this front end. Next video. Peace.